Hello. Now we look at number five in our series on making friends for God. This is entitled Spirit Empowered Witnessing. And that's one thing we must never leave out of the equation when we think about witnessing, and that is the Holy Spirit, because he's the one who gives us the words to speak. He knows the situation. And I often think of it as a line out of the back of my head going up to heaven, a, a, a medium of communication, a, a, a line by which God can speak to me while I'm speaking to other people. That kind of image helps me to think of how God is speaking through me to somebody else because I don't know their situation. I don't know much about this person. Perhaps, or perhaps I've only just met and it's God who can know what that person me needs and how that person can be helped by whatever I can say. And so you have to rely on that spirit empowered witnessing in order to be effective. I uh, like that line from A.J. Gordon in the notes for this time. Before Pentecost, the disciples found it hard to do easy things. After Pentecost, they found it easy to do hard things. And sometimes witnessing is hard, isn't it? And yet with the Spirit, it can be a true delight, something that is really wonderful to be doing. I want to remind you of that incredible time there in Acts chapter 2, when the Spirit was so clearly at work, so amazingly demonstrated that noise like a rushing wind the flames of fire that descended on those disciples as they spoke and everybody was amazed apart from those people who said, oh well they're just drunk or something there's always somebody who wants to dismiss it but i don't think you could dismiss that miraculous manifestation of the spirit quite so easily in our notes for this time we referred to verses 40 and 41 Peter went on speaking giving them much more evidence and I do like that the fact that our witnessing is evidence based he went and traced God's work throughout history particularly to the Israelites who were present there explaining how Jesus was the fulfillment looking forward to what all that they had been working towards, all that God had planned and Jesus had come and it was the fulfillment of their expectations. He warned them, save yourselves from this perverted generation. And those who accepted what he said were baptized, adding about 3,000 people to the group of believers that day. And then it goes on, verse 42, they committed themselves to what the apostles had taught them and to the fellowship of the believers, breaking bread and praying together. That was the result of spirit-empowered witnessing. And you might be saying, well, how come that isn't happening today? How come we don't see flames of fire and we don't see the spirit coming in like a rushing wind? Well, that was necessary right there and then. And God always does things for a purpose. There's a great deal of intent behind all those miraculous manifestations that we read about. There wasn't any other way to get the message across because Peter and the other disciples didn't speak all these multiple languages that they needed to communicate. And God wanted that message about Jesus to get her out and go out around the then known world. And that's exactly what happened at Pentecost. But for us today, it can still be a very meaningful experience because the, space, the same spirit is involved. He's still there. He's still working with us. He's try, still trying to get the message about Jesus out to everybody. And now we have an interconnected world with the internet and Facebook and all the other mechanisms, WhatsApp, of getting the message to all the world. We often used to think, well, how are we going to get the Bible into the hands of people in, as we used to call it, Red China and so on. But now it's all opening up. We can indeed communicate very effectively, very easily, in fact, with many, many different people all around our world. So the Spirit certainly is there. He certainly is involved. And we can rely on Him as we pray to empower our witnessing so we can speak well of our loving Lord. I want to encourage you to think about those things and to ask the Spirit to help you as you win.